All right. Hello everybody, my name is Misty Swirl, or Misty. Welcome back to another stream, and uh, last time we were here, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Because uh, I had just built the tree farm, I had done some upgrades and all that. Uh, I figured it out, so I wanted to actually, as you can see by the title, go back to the beginning and work on spawn, because we just had a new person join us. And I was like, thinking about it, like, what is the first thing that someone new is going to see? It's just my old house. And I'm like, you know what? That's not good enough. Like, I know I'm, I'm a, you know, can be a pretty good builder, but, but, um, I don't think the beginning is quite, you know, very, hello. I don't know if the beginning is, is quite what I was hoping it to be for people. It's kind of just like a house that exists. Um, and then no instructions on where, what anything is, you know, what anything. So I'm gonna go and try and work out a thing for that because yeah, we should do that. And also this is my map art. Uh, I'm currently filling in all the layers with uh, white concrete. Um, you can see actually there's a little bit of snow forming down here, which is a bit of a problem, uh, which means I gotta put string on it. I just had my mic cut in in a weird way. Oh, you know why. Um, hang on a second. For some reason, my AirPods like doing this. Say something? Hello, hello? There it is. Yeah, so sometimes my, my uh, I had this problem before, but now it's good. I can hear you. Um, yeah, I was just, Hooray. yeah, I've got map art and then um, my inventory is absolutely full of white concrete powder. So I might deposit this. Oh, thank you. Um, my friend, uh, uh, Silica, aka Liz, made this skin for me. I'll show you the. Re I can't show you anything because I, <laughs> I have too much stuff in my inventory. But I'll I'll pop a, the, these out real quick and I'll show you what it looks like, because I think it's 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 really cool. Um, she asked what I wanted and I just was like, blue, just blue, anything. Bl and so she made she made this out of that. So that was cool. It's cool. I I don't know where I put all my chests though. Uh, um, I've literally filled all of my shulkers with, um, uh, white concrete powder, and there's just, there's just no room for anything else. I think Andy's cutting out again. Please, please work. Say something? Hello? Okay. I don't know. Something was something's going on with that, but uh, anyway, um, I think we're, we should be okay now. If you ever start feeling like I'm not hearing you, just like ping me because there might be a problem with my my uh, AirPods. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm just a, chilling. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying a new thing where I I use my I'm only using my earbuds to listen, and my mic is t doing the rest of the work. So I'm like, what if I just wore my airpods and used it to monitor but the, I, I had a problem with them earlier so hopefully that's not the case do did i leave all my wood this is just temporary where are you like i'm i'm between like um I, I go to the end portal and then just fly north and you'll see a giant patch of of white well, one moment. all right now i can show you my whole skin so this is this is the rest of it right here. I think it looks really cool. And then I'll take the bat my cape off real quick. Uh, yeah, that's the back of it, which I do like a lot. It's like a little like hair bow and stuff. I can't really navigate well behind me, but uh, yeah, I think it's super cool. And 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 she added horns because I asked her for horns. Yeah, this is so cool. I love it. Um, it'll be my new skin until I decide to change it, which doesn't happen too often, but, um, yeah, so there's that. I'm going to unload all of this while Andy is making his way here, because I 
filled every last inch of my space with white concrete powder because it needs a lot. It is so cute. I love it. <laughs> I, I just, yeah. Also, if anyone in my Twitch chat is someone I know personally, um, like, tell me what name I know you by because I will not be able to tell from whatever, unless your username is like the same as your Discord or something. So, uh, speak now or forever hold your pieces. That's full already. Um, sand? Yeah, literally every shulker has stuff in it. There's, there's, there's like, there's like another two double chests full of this. Actually, Andy, if you wouldn't mind, uh, when you get to the end portal, to set your bed spawn there, go in and then grab as much, like, white concrete powder as you can out of the dupers, and then, like, come back and fly it north, because... Yeah. I'm... I'll set my bed here, check, and, uh... Oops. Thank you. How much white concrete powder? I duped a lot of it already. I just need need it to be brought over. Ooh, so just, okay. like, however much you can carry, basically. Whee! <laughs> Mike, I see, is, is in the chat as well. Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome. For a second I thought that Mike was the same person as Andy. I was like, wait a minute, why is Mike talking if he's in the chat? But no, there's just different, there's different people. <laughs> My name not mine! You know, I think this is the most amount of live viewers I've had at one point who weren't also in the voice call. I've had <laughs> I've had people in the voice call also watching my stream. Um, which is kind of weird chant, but okay, I'll take it. Um, I think I've taken every single piece of uh, concrete powder I had out of these. These are all full. Yeah, that looks like, looks about right. Um... So I'll come back to those, but in the meantime, Andy, what do you think we should do at spawn to make it more accessible to new players? Ooh. So on the one hand, we don't want to intimidate people, as we've discussed. Yeah. But... Just something like intro, uh, like to show them what the ropes are and where things are and where to find things. Like a humble, humble kind of hub. A humble hub? Yes, a humble hub. Uh, a hmm. hub. Bull let me space telescope. Something that'd be kind of cute was a replica. Would be a replica of something Tufts related. Ooh, the admissions building. <laughs> Wait. Or 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 maybe commons. Before... Wait, that was the hub for the campus server. Remember? It, it was the yeah. admissions building. Yes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> rest in pieces that build because that 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 I don't know. If Aaron isn't even willing to try and and, and uh, get a second like multi hub up for the other SMP, then I have no idea if that means the um, original recreation server is going to be up. All right, so I got a gajillion amount of white concrete powder. Where Thank do I go you. now? Um, hop back out of the portal, and then if you, you know how like you can go through that portal um, to get. Outside, right? To get outside the little like end end portal room. Uh, if you uh, go, if you like loop around, there's a little staircase that go up behind it, um, and just head north, oh. and you should see a giant white area. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Behind the portal, there is a school a staircase going to the. Yep. Yeah. So then you just just fl just fly what? along that. And then in that direction. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hi. This big white area. You can just drop uh, that in the double chest over by the tree. Wee. So oh. this is a project you can come work on anytime you want. Just uh, grab a whole bunch of uh, white concrete powder and just start. I like swimming backwards because I have depth strider and so I can just like do a lot at one time. Um, Why am I playing? Why are you what? Mm hmm. What? What's up? Nothing. I thought you said something to me. Oh. Um, nope. Did I get I that? Oh, I sorry. I, I picked that one up. So um, you're just building a square? Yeah, please? I'm just filling it in with the with the map. Um, wait. Here's your here's your shelter back real quick. 
Andy. Andy. Right. Shulker. Hello. See ya, I guess we can do this for oh. a while while we discuss ideas for the spawn. So you know what to build. So, for spawn, assuming we're not building Benditson, um, let's see. Uh, um, I was thinking, I had, you know how you can make, um, little roofs from, uh, um, put out campfires? I was thinking we could do yes. something like that. Like, something that involves, like, a little, like, outdoor patio-ish kind of, like, you know, like a wooden structure. That's something that kind of reminisces of the of beginning roots. Um, it isn't too, like, you know, giant. I mean, also, I think, what, who's, what's, what's, I think Eddie has a build at, at spawn. Um, which yes. could be a little bit intimidating, but if it's only one building and not, like, a bunch of things surrounding it, that could be fine. We could build something out of Acacia that looks, uh, what's the I'm looking for? Uh, Acacia could work. I I I'm, th I'm feeling like the light warm colors, like acacia, oak, stuff like birch maybe even. Um, just to kind of be like, this is a warm welcoming please. <laughs> also, we need a to make the nether hub look better, but that's that's a different that's a different day, I think. That involves trying to figure out uh, shopping district things. Yes. Ooh, I would love to build little streets in the shopping district. Yeah, so are we keeping the shopping district in the nether? Yes. You. I think it's the most natural. Put it. I guess so. I um. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, you I was came... just. I'm. I'm. I'm thinking of Hermitcraft season severed right now. Like, <laughs> but it does not have to be like that. It could just be like. Um. It Sweet could be. URL. Yeah. No. I. I was. I was picturing sort of like a um. Uh, like, oop, hi. <laughs> um, oop. like something that definitely makes use of um, the. Uh, I'm I'm struggling for words right now. Uh, the crimson, cause I, or not crimson. We're in um we're in a soul sand valley, right? So something to yeah. do with soul sand, and like using a mixture of that and warped wood because of the color in the background. Like that could be cool. That would be, I think... Like a little night like market, nice almost. Yes, and street lamps. Arabian and... night kind of, you know, I don't know. Night market scene. Shroom light. Because of the colors. Shroom light. Shroom light, oh god. We need to get a, a better farm for shroom lights. Um, I think we've made a fair number, don't we? <laughs> Another wood farm? Uh, I don't usually mine them. I usually just mine the wood, and you know I don't like go up and mine all the, but, like I mean like an automated one. You oh, know, like the one that Ben built on the old server. Yes. Um, okay. I got. I feel like the overworld market could have the overworld place could have some nice bees. Now that they fixed the the thing that causes bees to randomly despawn every time you log on. Just sinking through the water. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, let me get some. Let's get some thinking music on. This is the song I'm playing today. You know what I'd really love, Lucy. Hmm. Other side. What? What'd you I like? I don't know where we. Other side, the new disc. Yes, I'm. Yeah, so that that requires dungeon. Rating and stuff. Um, I don't know how else you get it. I think it's just dungeons. Uh, possibly strongholds. I think it's only. It's Minecraft only dungeons. dungeons and 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 yeah. You could go digging, I guess. Um, forever. There's definitely like, tons I of of like mine shafty areas down below us, um, in the in Alpine. That is true. Although, actually, because of how deep the world is, it's really hard to exhaust all the mining below an area. You've now. got three phantoms on you, my friend. No, well, they can't go in the water. Uh, they can. 
They definitely can. Can they? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. That one was flying underwater. Yeah. Okay, let me, uh... The Phantom Menace. Oh. <laughs> oh, frick. Come down so I can take your goods. Your goods and services. Oops. I did not get it. Okay, and that one, that nice. one is about to die. I like killing them for the XP and the the thingy things. Oh, okay, none of them dropped anything. I got one, I, I no got echoes. one. Play. Just one though. Are you, are you guys streaming? Yeah, we are, hi. We are. Would you like to join the stream? Yeah, how do I check the link? Uh, I dropped it in promo, I believe. We're also playing on the on the JumboCraft server if you want to join there as well. Oh, uh, I don't have Minecraft installed. But... Oh, no. that's unfortunate. <laughs> you, sh you should that you should get you should install dark. Minecraft. Go to the free Minecraft dot. Um, how I got my first spam emails when I was twelve. Fun fact. <laughs> Nice. Uh, <laughs> enter your email to get free Minecraft. Uh -huh. Ooh. And then twelve year old um, me suddenly had a virus. <laughs> you did not get free yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is unfortunate, my friend. Uh, shout out to Brooke. I just wanted free <clears throat> I just wanted a free Minecraft. It was not to be though. Was that too much to ask? Apparently, apparently yes. was. Also, sorry to the stream if you hear my every like click and thing, because I think my mic is just picking it all up, and I don't know how to stop that. Um, it's mounted to the desk, which is probably getting the vibrations, and it was a little bit too thick to put it on a shock mount. I have to get like a different shock mount or something, so. That might actually, if I could find a shock mount of the right size, that might reduce the sound. But that requires time, money, and things I don't have currently. <laughs> On the Research. one hand, this is kind of slow, placing in the water, but it is like a lot faster than leveling the desert. I, I... Yes. Um. Also, it makes uh, because it's all powder and it's on level with the water. You can just place the powder down that we got from the duper, and not like. Ooh, that is... That's why. You that's know, why this it's is actually... so Maybe we should build a second thing next to this for some other map art. We could definitely do that. Oh. This will be the first one though. This is for this like is what? this is all to help the beginners. By the way, this is part of the um, uh, the the roadmap of the Nether Network. The Nether Iceway Network. I keep trying to make it. I wanted to call it Nin, because uh, you know Nether, right? But I don't know. If, it's like I feel like that one girl in Mean Girls who's like, "Stop trying to ma make fetch a thing," or you know, like I don't know if Nin's gonna become a thing. It is not. It just doesn't have a ring to it. Nin. To say. It's really unfortunate. Nin. Nin. The Nin Ooh. Corporation. I also no. need to. You need to no, what? No. Uh, light underneath this, maybe? Mm, we could get a conduit. That might be enough. I don't know how far the range of a that conduit definitely... is. Um, it is not... Um, one, one... Yeah, I figure that much. Whatever it is, it is not this. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. I have five... Four people wa- Aw. I had five people watching. And only one of them is me, because I'm monitoring it on my iPad. You're a star? I didn't know, Lucy, until recently, A, that you were a streamer, B, that some of your YouTube videos are, like, <laughs> genuinely... 3K? Uh, <laughs> 4K on one of them? 4.5? Uh, 4. It makes me want to play star. Sky again, just so I can get content, but I, I really shouldn't. I shouldn't be doing that. So I'm doing Minecraft instead. 
Oh wait, I also had the idea. Um, we could build the the Iceway racetrack around here. It's true. It's north of Ben's, so we don't have to worry about that. Or of the portal. Ben is south, so this is all stuff in between um, between Ben's and Spawn. The only thing we might run into is Tate if we keep going... Which direction? If we keep going this way, we might run into Tate eventually, but I'm sure he won't mind. I can always ask, too. Listen, we've got these big glaciers here that we can mine for ice. Mm -hmm. I... It could be... What would it be? Um, I guess Andrew wanted to be kind of in charge of that. Um, yeah, he can do, he can do that. Yeah. I think this would be the perfect spot. There's a big open ocean. It can be turned into like a hundred long track. And I think that would be the coolest YouTube video ever if we did the Grand Prix. We could do the, the, the perimeter around here too. Well, maybe not the ocean, actually. That's probably a bad idea. Oh, I really want to make a perimeter now that I saw Psycraft in their perimeters. They're crazy, crazy, like, million, several million block, you know, world eaters and stuff. I, I can't, I, I can't, yeah. I can't begrudge Ben his perimeters anymore. Since we have unlimited sand and gunpowder now, we could do one kind of manually. Uh, <laughs> I, I... First of all, those, um, may, well, you know, I feel like, um, mining, it, it, it's faster to make a, a flying TNT tuber than it is to craft a bunch of gravel and sand. Or not gravel, gunpowder, excuse me. Gunpowder and sand. You can use the dropper method, where you drop a bunch of gunpowder, TNT in one place. Dispense, uh, oh, okay. That's true, but we'll make it, it has to make it all the way down, too. It has to... I also kind of want the experience of building such a ridiculous flying machine that just dispenses TNT forever. It sounds like it'd be fun. I get... I... <laughs> but no, it's I funny, because I thought Ben would be... I thought Ben's mouth would be watering when I told him, and he was just like, that takes a lot of work, bro, and I'm like... Listen, the stuff you do oh. takes a lot of work too. I mean, I don't. <laughs> never stop you before. The number Ben thing would be a perimeter. We're gonna need seven or eight people working around the clock. Yeah, <laughs> that's that sounds about right. Or if you're like, hey, I'm logging off in the minute. Can you finish my redstone? Which uh, I I listen, bro. I can't I can't do your redstone. That's that's just you know like. I can do my own redstone, but if I'm trying to do someone else's redstone, doesn't matter whose redstone it is, I just don't know where, and like, especially if the only part way through, I don't know where you are, I don't know how much you've built, I don't know what you think is wrong, like, there's just so many things that I can't account for. I kind of feel that, he's like, Andrew, why don't you help me build this farm? Okay, but I really don't know how to do any redstone. Like, come on, it's simple. Uh, do this thing from the photo I sent you. Uh, yeah, do this thing from this ridiculous complicated farm that relies on things being very, very directional from the three reference photos. Oh, you can't- oh, I'll send more photos, hang on. And like, more photos doesn't really help. I, I need- I need- and I need instructions, I need step-by-step -step video that shows the three dimensions of it, I need to build up myself. And, you know, it's a lot of effort if you don't want the thing. Like, I built a tree farm because I wanted to, and it, you know, it was effort, and it took some troubleshooting and a little bit of creative mode to figure out. But um, I finished it because I wanted to. Yeah. Oh dear, I'm gonna run out. This board is definitely getting shrinking. I like doing the um, circular. I don't know actually how I feel about like building this in a circle versus like in straight lines. Because in straight lines you can see some pretty easy progress, but circular makes you feel like each time you go around it's a little bit smaller, a little bit less. I don't know which one makes you feel like you're, you're psychologically going faster. I'm down with outside in. Oops. Oops. Water froze before. Yeah, it, it does, does that. I need more. Oh, there's a raid. <gasps> raid. Get it. 
Don't worry, Lucy, I'll save you. I just need milk now. She needs some milk. Do you need some milk? Did they drop anything? Uh, just a banner. Oh. Sad. You could at least drop something nice if you're gonna, you know, start bothering us. Alright, let me get, um, let me just go find a cow. Meow, meow, I'm, I'm a cow. Said, meow, meow, I'm a cow. <laughs> meow, meow, I'm a cow. Meow, meow, I'm a cow. Meow, meow, I'm a cow. There's a dog. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I got moo. I see something moo. down here. Those are foxes. Hi, those are cute. But not what I'm looking for. I need a cow. Bitch, I'm too sweet. Trying to make moves. Is this. That's a pig. More wolves. There's so many wolves. I guess it's a sort of a taiga ish, isn't it? There's a pig. That is true. Um. I need cow. They're never. They're never cow. around when you need them. Unfortunately, um, a goat would also. A goat, yeah. Well, you do have a mountain. Are these cows? Those look like mobs, like danger mobs. Yeah, hi. It's there's a danger mobs. There's a sheep. Not what I need. Ooh, all of bears. Is that a sheep? That's a sheep. There's there's sheep's, but there's. I wish I could milk sheep's. You know, like sheep milk. I wish I had a lead. Um, what are those? What are those? Wolves. Cute, but not what I need. Those are the same sheep I just saw. What's that? That's a zombie. That is a ruined portal. Which I don't know if anyone's been to this one before. Maybe they have. The gold's missing. Don't fall into lava. Oh yeah, someone's been here. Never mind. I'm amazed my stream is keeping up with my my, my Minecraft this time. Um What is that? That's a zombie foot. That's a creeper, hi. Uh, let's Hello. not do that. There's some oh, doggos. I'd love to have a- Love to have a- A pet creeper again? Like at the zoo? Oh! <laughs> like a, um, explosive creeper or whatever it is. Supercharged creeper? A charged creeper in a, in a cage. I think that would be an excellent thing for spawn, personally. Oh yeah, that'll that'll bring all the all the people in. That'll make them want to stay. Guys, we have a charged <laughs> creeper at spawn. Just don't make don't breathe the wrong way, and you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm on. I think it would be pretty cool. I'd like that or a spider jockey. Oh, that would be uh, cool. I want to capture a spider jockey. Hey, also, can you sleep? This might make my search a little sure. easier. If these guys stop spawning and I don't see their hitboxes as opposed to what I need to see. Wait, there's light. Why is there light? Oh, it's lava. Cow! Alright, let's get rid of the uh, oh, bad omen. There we go. Don't fly straight into lava. That'd be, that'd be bad. Nice, nice. Alright, I can turn hitboxes off. Let's go back. I see a creeper. Oh man. So we back in the mines. Yep. Got no pickaxe. That would make it feel even. Uh, if we just start cutting through the middle. <laughs> I see you down there. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is superior. Sure. Yeah. That sounds good. 
So what are we building at spawn? Um... I think we just make it up as we go along, but I think we should get some oak wood, some birch. Um, I feel like, and then what was the other one you wanted to use? Acacia. Acacia. I don't, I don't have a, unfortunately I don't have an acacia duplicator. But maybe if you went to John's and I went to my wood farm, we could get enough acacia and stuff for everything. I think that sounds like an excellent plan. <laughs> I'm just gonna use up the last of this uh, concrete, and by last of, I mean there's it was a uh, half a chest's worth. How many chests of a case of 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 um powder was there left after you took some? I only took all of it from one double chest. Okay. So probably I took like a quarter of what was there. Okay. <laughs> Probably a third at that point, but yeah, I know what you mean. Alright, let's get all these. All the packed ice can be used for, uh, um, blue ice. It's slower, but not as slow as getting regular ice. And if I'm mining here anyway, I might as well take it, you know? Might as well collect it and use it for something. Oh, I just realized I never put the credentials from the music in my last stream because I it was sort of all over the place I kind of used like, you know, four or five different tracks for different periods of time Luckily, I don't think I got demonetized for it, but um, I should go do that after this <laughs> uh, uh, That you doing better than your new girlfriend Oh, I just hit your, your midline. <laughs> yeah, actually, no. sectioning it does make it a little easier to, uh, to, to, to follow. You could do this practically. It's, it, I mean, it is a, a building concept, too. You, if you break up a wall, it makes it more interesting. Easy to decorate, easier for the eye to follow. As a architect, well, as a former computational architect, I can attest. Although now I work exclusively with fluids. That doesn't sound right. Um, <laughs> fluids as opposed to solids. Fluid. I work in the world of fluids now, as opposed to the world of solids. Liquid. It's fluid. Awesome. Liquid. P H L U I D. P A. P P P P fluid. Uh, I used to think that was like puh, yes, a puh sound. So I was, you know, in kindergarten, right? And there's like circle names on different spots. Um, and one of my friends, I'm currently friends with her, but at the time I saw her name on the spot, and her name's Phoebe. And so, you know, little five year old me was like, Pohebe? <laughs> I don't know. That's just a little, little tidbit about pHs. pH, it is quite a little bit unusual. I guess P is a labial sound, as you call it, and P you call a labial dental sound. Oh, interesting. From linguistics, because labial dental means you put your upper teeth on your lower lip for P B. Oh, cool. The more you know. Um, I know a diphthong. What is a diphthong? Isn't it where that. it's like where where the two letters are, are blurred together, or either that, or it's the one where it's like uh, no, that's an, that's a glottal stop. Never mind. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like two two letters getting blurred together, like ow, like how about or something, you know, because it's an O U sound. Oh wait, I know. Wait, I did read this. A diphthong is when a vowel changes part way through. Yeah. Or a vowelization, so it's two vowels together. Yeah. Oh, I was right. So okay, cool. <laughs> also, just a fun word to say. Mm-hmm. Got to say. 
Oh, I went out in the snow today. It was so if you weren't aware in the northeast right now, it's currently blizzarding. Um, we got like I think about two feet of snow, something like that. So I went out and I was like up to my knees. Yeah. Parts of had thirty inches of snow, the most in recorded history. Jeez, wow, okay. Ah. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was, it was, oh, go ahead. At the atmospheric science department where I work now, we have a weather room with a gajillion TVs all tuned to different weird weather stuff. And, uh, it's like, um, I don't know, the weather channel, but IRL and all these fucking weather nerds <laughs> get excited by how, um, but it is very cute and... I wish I could be there. But also, oh, you're right you're in Colorado now. Forgot about that. I'm a scientist now out west. Damn. That's pretty cool. I'm in Somerville. It is. It's been pretty cool. And ooh, I already have to start thinking about my thesis topic. They said coming oh. up with ideas for uh, <laughs> PhD. Ah, my master. Oh, 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 master! You said right. Because that's what, that's what you. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. That's the thing you do first. I'm not that old, Lucy. <laughs> pretty. I, I mean, some people get their PhDs pretty young, you know. That is true. Like like Terence Tao, who finished his at 20, 21. Oh, 21. And then was the youngest professor ever at UCLA. He's he's younger than some of the undergrads, so it's kind of wild. He became a professor at 23. He finished his PhD at 21, and he started college when he was 14. Notably, is he? No, uh, I don't mean to, I don't mean to like stereotype, but is he Asian? <laughs> he is Asian from Australia. Yes. Oh, interesting. And the it's just... world's greatest living. Asian. I feel like at this point, people of East Asian descent just have like, a, have like a study gene or something. Like, they just... I used to be like that in high school. But, you know, college kind of... Kind of killed my... Killed, um, it, it dulled my sense of perfectionism, if you if you will, in some aspects. I do feel that. It made so me Terrence feel less Al, pressured to do things. Which is probably good. mother was a map. His mother was a math teacher. He became a math Olympiad person when he was like eight. Started Prince 14. Had a nervous breakdown when he was 16. Damn, okay. But then at some point decided that he's going to have a new philosophy of life where he just didn't stress about anything and would be really chill and not really work hard anymore. I don't know when that he decided to do that though. I don't know. And After he's he got pretty his, cool. Yeah. And he's one of the top contributors on Stack Overflow. Nice. Separate. <laughs> um, along is... with uh, Tufts professor Norman Ramsey. Norman Ramsey, not he... Gordon Ramsey. Not Gordon Ramsey, Norman Ramsey. Although he is also a eclectic figure. But, apart from writing his 8,000 page unfinished textbook, um... 8,000 page unfinished... And I thought the chem done. textbooks were, lo were long. My god. He, he's been working on it for like 20 years. Every time he takes 150, 150, 170, no 150. They don't give you the whole textbook because it's too long, and it doesn't want Printed in its unfinished state as a real book, so you only get printed out from it. But one day, it and it's going to be the greatest book on language theory that could ever possibly be written. On what theory? And language theory, computer language. Theory. Oh, oh, computer language theory. Oh, cool. And it'll be huge. He has appeared. He like helpful. Um, He's a cool dude, in conclusion. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna torch this up a little bit, because otherwise we will get monsters spawning. I'm thinking also for the base we build off of, um, 
our old, uh, the old one I have there and just like make it better. <laughs> oh, absorb from the spawn region? Yeah, I'll, I'll grow, grow the one that I had there and just make it like a better base. I'm deep down. It could have a so it would need to have a new above ground component. Yeah. Specifically, we like, like the fields and the animal pens and stuff with the place where you actually spawn and weed signs and stuff. Mm hmm. I'd probably move Do the animal pens. I would probably make it less of a starter base and more of a, uh, like, like an outpost, if you will. An outpost. Ooh, hello, baby zombie. We. I mean, do we want people to have access to farm goods at spawn? Uh, yes, but also there's the problem of the fact that a lot of people can't just use that stuff because of spawn protection. Oh yeah. So it had to yeah. be it had to be like just outside of the spawn protection chunk. We have like a little storage area for um, fresh goods. I forgot that not everyone has admin powers. Uh, not everyone is as godlike as we are. <laughs> I really uh, don't know. Is this is this zero? Um, block four. No, it's okay. I think the rest of it should be okay as well. I'll just light these in the case. <clears throat> There we go. Good enough. Ah, this rain though. <laughs> if only we could do something about the rain. Oh wait. Now Lucy, don't abuse no. your voice. <laughs> okay, okay. The voice of reason speaks oh. and he says no. <laughs> that is un Minecraft like. Unprofessional. <laughs> Strictly unprofessional. Like, well. Can't just use my powers for the whims and, and wills that I, I would desire. Have you ever done speedrunning, Lucy? I have done speedrunning. I tried doing a Minecraft manhunt one time. But both of us were bad, so we didn't it didn't go well for anybody. <laughs> it was it was fun to try, same. but it was just it was hard. It's I Honestly, a lot of credit to anyone who does that stuff because it's like it's more it's more than you think. It, you know, it's it's hard enough to beat look. Minecraft, but it's you know then beat Minecraft while someone's chasing you. <laughs> it's not just about knowledge; it's about knowing how to do it as well. You know, like intuitively. It's about, it's about street that. smarts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I w what do I watch? Um, this guy, um, what do call? He, like, has a hardcore world, um, where he, like, plants melon. I forget his name. I'm watching. Wait, what'd you say? I spend about as much time watching Minecraft videos on YouTube. They do, like, like, TBH. Um, we. And honestly, that's fine. There are so many people who can play Minecraft in a more interesting way. It's true. There's there's, Although, there's also so many people who can play Minecraft. Is that is also when you watch the video, you don't see all the parts like this. They're just placing blocks. Um, I suppose. Oh frick! Watch out with. I mean, we're we're just placing blocks right now. What does it say about my stream? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Um, I mean, <laughs> we're, we're discussing. We're discussing what to do. I want glass. I just know that. That's all I know. In in the uh, in the spawn build, to put glass and make so it my, look a nice little window. So my favorite videos, Mumbo. I've been watching Gwen's. Did you see Mumbo's Rubik's cube? 
Uh, Rubik's Cube? No. He just released a video that's like, I made a working Rubik's Cube in Minecraft or something. Wait, I think that I was him. It looked like it's his thumbnail. Oh. How does that even... Redstone. Oh. Redstone magic. I did see his last video where he spoke with a geologist, and that was like my favorite thing. Yeah, I did. Um, those, that was pretty cool. There was one also where Green was like trying to find real world equivalents for the rocks in Minecraft. And like comparing Wait, yeah. them. Yeah, it was like a few years ago though. It was like a while ago. Honestly, so on the one hand, the top campus server uh, would be so interesting. But I would say I feel like I learned a lot about Minecraft design by copying buildings from the real world. Mm -hmm. Like, I became not a pro, but I still can't make a telescope that doesn't look really bad for my observatory. Telescopes are hard because they're not like even shapes that can just be decorated. It's, it's more round and organic. Did you have like a real telescope you're modeling after though? I just had so I thought about making it look like the EELT, the European Extremely Large Telescope, but that doesn't look. <laughs> that is what it's called. Fun fact. I, I like that. That's funny. Um, it was originally going to be the overwhelmingly large telescope, but they decided that the proposal for a hundred meter main mirror was physically impossible, <laughs> so they. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no, so they, I, don't, I don't blame them. They scaled down to a 30 meter wide main mirror and just called it the extremely, rather than the overwhelmingly large. Right. That's um, funny. What was I saying? What was I saying? So I wanted to make it kind of look like that, but that doesn't really look telescopy. So mm. I was like, oh, maybe I'll try to make it really cartoony, but that also looks kind of bad. Gotta go for um, a middle ground. Like, you want a standard mm -hmm. kind of, you know, per telescope someone else could have. Like, not an extremely large one, just like... But then to scale it up a little bit, you know? Yeah. So, like, take take I a traditional, you know, little telescope kind of deal. Or even, um, what's that? There's, like, that one observatory in California that's, like, above the... Ma like, in the Sierra Nevadas, that one, like, really high one where you can see the sunrise. The Keck Observatory? I think so. That's the twin telescopes. Yeah, like maybe copy some some kind of design from that. So all of those, all the big telescopes in the world don't look like traditional telescopes anymore. Yeah. They aren't kind of recognizably telescopes, for lack of a better description. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of a giant mirror that shines light onto a smaller mirror. Did you try building it in some in creative first? So I like never do that. Um, I guess I could. Uh, no, I just want things to work the first time. Um, yes, yeah, true. But you know, the house that I made um, in our last world, that was creative first, and that was a really cool house. But I had to. I had. Cool. I had. I had of the freedom of using whatever blocks I wanted. And being able to just take it out and fly around and look at it from different angles. Um, and that helped me really figure out what I wanted to do. I guess when you put it like that, I could try testing some stuff. Although, I think today, I'm going to try one last idea I have in survival. Although that idea would mainly just be making the telescope about um, like a bunch less conical. Because I've been looking at pictures online of what other people have done. Oh, interesting. And... Oh, yeah, you can always look up Minecraft think... references for things. Because people just build whatever, you know. It looks the most like a telescope if you just try to make it a turn of the century telescope that isn't, like, pointy in any way. It just is a tube. Yeah. That, yeah, that makes, make it... that makes sense. That makes sense. And if you make it fully horizontal instead of having any kind of horizontal um, sideways, you might still be able so to make it see. upwards. But maybe make it like you know either two to two by one or to one to one you know uh, slope. A slope. But if you make it fully horizontal, you can actually look through it. 
That is true. You know what you should do? You should put a real, um, like, telescope item next to it. And then you can pop it off and then look through the hole that you provided with the telescope. Wait, that would actually be very cool. It should be in a picture. Wait, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to build a horizontal telescope. I kind of wonder if you could yeah. angle it such a way that you could make a, a working telescope, but like going up. Like you put glass, you get like a glass center, and then the, the the width of the glass would determine how the shape the telescope around it. You could do that, but it'd have to be pretty wide on the outside. Not really. Oh well, maybe, maybe. I actually don't know how how wide it would have to be, so I just kind of spouting ideas. Um. I feel like sectioning it like this, yeah, it's going a lot faster because you can just run, swim back and forth. Although it does require it a lot more fast. thumping coming from my mic, probably, <laughs> as it go, you um, know, with my, with my oh. keys. They're not even that Once it's small loud. Hmm? You don't even have to get in the water to do like full lines. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just w wing wing spawn. That's how I, yeah. We'll wing it. We'll wing That's it. My favorite thing to do. Ooh, what I about have... copper? Copper? Um. I know it. Copper and everything. In yeah. in spawn or as your telescope? Like everything that I build ever. Um, I just kind of love the block. Do you like the cut so... copper or the smooth copper better? Ooh. I kind of like the cut copper more now. The VH. It looks kind of 19th century. Yeah. And I dig it. It is quite cool. I'm very. So my stream keeps wavering from 3 to 5 people, and I'm very curious who is jumping in and out of it. I mean, it could be randos. Uh -huh. maybe, maybe there's just randos jumping in and out. I don't know. Randos. If if there are randos jumping in out, you should jump in and 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 stay <laughs> stay in. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Um, that's not a threat. That's a that's a a, a strong suggestion. <laughs> also, hydration break, everyone. Get some water. <laughs> Wadzi, that's his name. He says that in all of his Minecraft videos. He's like, time for a hydration break. Make sure to drink some water. Gotta hydrate, gamers. Come on. You know, I, I say this every stream. I might be streaming for hours and then, but at least I'm hydrating. Keeps you fresh. Keeps you awake. Keeps you from thinking about the couple of times your teachers have said you should work harder in the first two weeks of class. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna be like, be from thinking about the time when you called your teacher mom. Oh, <laughs> I mean that maybe. Um, I do. I do know some friends who had moms work as, or even dads work as teachers in the school that they're at. It was kind of weird for them, yeah. as to be expected. You know, it'd be uh, nice uh, a buoyancy enchantment. Ooh. It keeps you floating in the first did. level. But it would also stop you from, like, diving? Yes. No, I'm just saying if you just were building things like this in the water and didn't want to go underneath. Ooh. Also, if you had a piece of clothing that stopped you from sink- Wait. I think that would be better as, like, a life vest kinda Ooh. thing. That's not something they'd add to Villa Minecraft, but that could be a mod easily. Well, no, I don't like, know easily, but have, you know. You'd put on a piece of armor that would serve as a neutral buoyancy. Ooh. Thing, yeah, 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 yeah. Make, and then, yeah, you could you could inflate it or, you know, just let it happen or, yeah. That'd be cool. And you could combine, because there's already kind of an aquatic piece of clothing, the turtle shell helmet. Uh, so if you had that and a neutral buoyancy, uh, chest plate, and 
that would be made out of like I don't know. Ooh, wait, it could be made out of Nautilus shells since they have like no other purpose. Well, I mean, the Nautilus shells are made to make heart of the seas into conduits. I guess, but like that also, whole mechanism is kind mm, of. Um. Or I will say that you could put or, eight leather in a square and make a little air bladder, I'm, and you could use like air bladders cool. to craft yourself a life in, life vest, like just two air bladders, or even or even you could do um like a little like a chest plate shape. You do eight air bladders, and then you get a chest plate that or not chest plate, but like an, uh, a life vest out of it. Also, let's see how this map's coming be. along. Oh wow. That's pretty good. We've got most- I can see you filling it in as I'm watching the map. I- yeah. I think we'll- we'll just fill this for now and I'll come back and do all the precise measurements, like, later. And then we can start working on spawn. I think we have a pretty good idea for it, though. So, yeah, feel free to, like, move- when we get there, we can move some things out of the way. Um, I'll give you the exact coordinates for where the spawn pot starts and, and ends, so that we don't, don't worry about that. I left 10 stacks in there for you, so there should be some more. Yeah. Oh no, are we gonna have enough? Um, there should, there should be more in the other chests, you know, in the end. Oh yeah, we can make a we can make a run. I, I duped I enough. I'm that. I'm pretty sure I duped enough. It's just a matter of getting it all. But that's so urgently. Oh no. What's up? Oh, nothing. Like oh no, will we have enough? Oh yeah, oh, we, we will. We will. Don't worry about it. Don't you fret, your silly little head. <laughs> We will have enough. Don't. Ooh, I have Milano cookies for dessert. I could have some of those now. I might. Oh, oh, Trader Llama, hold up. He just lagged my frame. Let's see what you're selling. <laughs> Wait, get the lead. I will. I will. He's like glitching. Oh, <gasps> yo, he's selling Nautilus shells. Ooh. What? Oh my. I'm gonna. Oh my I'm gonna max his shops real quick. I got like two and a half stacks of emerald blocks on me. I need. I have. I have a lot. Come on, come back here, sir. sir. Oh, he only sold five. Sir. It's okay. It's okay. I'm. I'm trading with him. I got. I got you. All right. Let's turn the rest back into emerald blocks. I only use like um. Uh, seven stacks of emerald blocks on him. A little bit less. Seven blocks, excuse me, of emeralds on him. That's it's really good, me. though. It's I had f I had three nautilus shells. We have another conduit. We have another conduit right here. That's what that is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I wish there was a way. Well, I guess the point of wandering traders is that they're kind of. What's wrong with the point? They're kind um, of what? Happen by happenstance. Mm hmm. Uh, serendipity. That's the word. Serendipity. Fancy. Serendipity. But sometimes I do wish for them and have them waiting. Yeah, if you could breed them. Oh my god. Or alternatively, if they could become regular villagers. Oh, so interesting. Would like kind of... What would the, the block should... be for it then? Maybe there's like a caravan block or something. Some animal husbandry related block. And he's invisible. I wonder if it's like a witch where if you kill him in the middle of drinking an invis, he'll drop it. I feel like probably not. That's like unique to witches. 
I also wish witches were kind of more integrated with either pillagers or villages. Because the fact that they can appear by themselves is kind of weird. I mean, they're kind of like recluses, right? They're like kind of exiles from the village. Because they started practicing magic and then, you know, they get struck by lightning. <laughs> And there's, they're they're in raids. They're part of raids. That's why we got. That's why raid farms work really well for redstone farms. That's true. so they're part of raids, but the other raid characters never just appear by themselves. That is true. Uh, I mean, I mean, well, that's uh, th yeah. Well, I guess the point of them though is that they are they're raids. Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. Also, if they had, like, evil iron golems, that would also be pretty cool. Is this spider uh, chasing me? Yeah. Okay, he is. Evil iron golems would be scary as hell. I mean, do, isn't, the, isn't the warden enough for you? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> the warden is one thing. Okay, but he's blind. And... But but he doesn't act like blind. He's, he's, very, he's very much able to see and find you. Or, not see, but, you know, to hunt you down and... <clears throat> Get you when you're not Punch looking. You. Okay, nothing's below zero. I wish. That's one. That's a little scary. Let's do that. You wish what? So there was like that mob vote, and then everyone voted for the. What is it called again? The Phantom? It flies. But it's basically oh. like a flying hopper. Oh, the, the LA? Yes, LA. I like Honestly, the LA. I, was a little... I appreciate the LA. I think the copper golem though could have been pretty cool. I that would have been pretty cool actually. Having another thing you can build. Um, I do appreciate the LA though for the usage in farms because you can't sort unstackable items right now, and I'd like to be able to. Um, someone was talking about it the other day. They're like, if if that's what it's, it can be used for then Mojang's got to be really good at figuring out how to get to drop a block at a precise location or within a reasonably small enough area that you can use it and not have ridiculously sized, you know, item sorting, just drop off stations, you know? You know, because it brings it back to a note yeah. block, but, do, you know, does it drop it on the note block? Does it drop it within a one block radius of the note block? You know, how do you use this in a farm? Also, can it go out and get any item in the world? Or Probably any item be... near its home block. Maybe anything that's been rendered. It could be so player like, you get, you give it one of a thing, and then it seeks out other stuff like that and brings it back to you. Yeah. I would assume it's, it's within rendering. Because if it goes out of render distance, then I don't know. You lose it, although sometimes bees do fly out of render distance. That's true. Bee? Yeah, bees are another animal that has that has to come back to a home block, otherwise you never see them again. <laughs> so I, I guess if not... yeah. And they're not always that good at it. They're they're usually not that good. That's a little concerning actually that they're not that good at it. They like get stuck on blocks they could easily fly around. They get stuck on freaking fences, yeah. man. The amount of times I've had to rescue a bee from a fence is too many. Like, at John's place especially, because he's got gates and fences everywhere. Like, I'm gonna oh put a God. fence around my, my crops so that they don't get trampled, but if that means the bees can't find their way in or out of the fence, it's kind of it's kind of annoying, because you don't get as much honey. Like... If a laser are gonna be a thing, they need to improve the pathfinding. Yeah, I for think. sure. We're almost done here. I yeah. Guess. We're 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 pretty close. Let me look at the map. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, they've got that huge rectangle off to the side, which is about you know maybe a sixth, of the, an eighth of the size. I want to do VR chat. I was just thinking about it. I was watching some VR chat videos last night. VR I know, chat. Yeah, yeah. I I know Ben has VR. Um, but he doesn't have full body because he was gonna buy full body and then his computer broke, so we spent on fixing his computer first. But he offered to let me try it sometime. 
And I still promised one of my friends that I'd play Genshin, but I just don't logistically know how unless I can uh, figure out how to spoof the system and, and get it working on my computer. Because that's the only device that can both run and have the storage for running Genshin. We also stopped, like, our horse breeding program. We did stop, yeah. I kind of like lost interest in it, honestly. No, like, once I'd still I got, love to have Yeah, once I got my Elytra, I lost interest in it, actually. <laughs> Goddamn Elytra. We bred, we bred some really fast horses, though, Lucy. Yes, we did breed some really fast horses. And, that's, and then I stopped as well, because we have... Fast horses now, why would I need... I don't know. <laughs> um... I even bred some reasonably fast donkeys. But, uh, that's a story for another time. Ah. Uh... I don't... I don't know what's... what's... what's kelp and what's block. I think I got all the blocks. I don't think- oh, really? I only had- oh, I had three. Uh, and I am officially out of concrete, so I'm gonna torch up a little bit more. Cause I see things spawning. No! I have, like, one more stack left. Alright, then we can- we can go, uh, work on spawn. I need to figure out how to get that snow to stop spawning. Maybe just having a torch nearby will, will prevent it from... I don't know, maybe. No, it, the snow is happening... Oh, well, not that close to torches. Also, some of that happened... Actually, you know, it would have melted by now, right? If it, if it, uh, if torches affected it that much. So, nothing is directly next to torches. That is true. There's like little patches where there's there's no. Um, it's because this this part's a frozen ocean and not a, a deep frozen ocean. So if it's only frozen, then it tries to spawn ice, and and it snows. Or no, it's it doesn't it doesn't matter. It just it just snows there because it's cold, um, and therefore the um, uh, snow which doesn't land on ice, it only land collects on, uh, it only collects on like solid blocks and stuff. Ice is snow technically like transparent. Color? Is snow what? Isn't snow like the same color? Um, yeah, it, sp it spawns on snow and it spawns on, uh, but it doesn't spawn on ice. No, 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 snow is actually, from the concrete powder, it's different. I see. No, it shows up as, it, it's like a half a layer big, so it's, here, I'll show you. Take a look. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, oh I don't like that. Torches don't show up, which is why I, I put them here. So, I wonder if string wouldn't show up. Either that, or we, or we, we lock the map and then um, we we clear the snow, lock the map, and then use the locked version. But the locked version. No, oh, it can't be edited. Hmm. That's the problem. Yeah. I guess we'll just string it. Mm. Well, I think well, we, we just well, put we can... enough torches in the- Probably. <laughs> we can also, like, um... Uh, um... Uh, we, could, we could wait, wait. here- we could wait for a snowfall. And just wait for a few snowfalls. Just see how much lands. And then just replace every time that we see something land, we put string down. As long as string doesn't show up. I don't think it will, though. Cause it's not a full block. Could I have a lead? Uh, I didn't- I didn't kill them. Oh. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh. Oh. oh no! I killed a llama. I killed a llama. Oh. Was I not supposed to kill the llama? Oh, I, I like having llamas. Don't we have so many already? I know, but Especially I like having since the... I guess. It's a white okay. llama. I don't think we have any white llamas. I think aren't all the trade... Yeah. 
Anyways. I thought they were like an off white or maybe brown. Does he like me or is he know. just tolerating me right now? Oh, he, he I, I tamed him. But he's still oh. mad at me. Stop. That's fine. Stop, bro. At least I don't have thorns. This is why oh. I don't have thorns, actually. Because if I anger something I don't want to to, to kill, then... Understandable. I didn't ever, I've never looked at their spit particles before. I know it's weird to say, but like, it's just like three little <laughs> dots. Fun fact, llamas are, I think, the only thing that can harm you with their attack in peaceful. Yeah. Wee. Ooh, wait, that would be a way to... I guess the server is never in peaceful. But, oh, I was gonna make um, the server hard mode, wasn't I? Yes, you were. Let's just get like a... Right. Oak. Fence. What if I fly away? Will he stop hating me? Hey. I'll try and get out of his render distance. Is this far enough? Maybe? Oh, he's still mad at me. All right, guess I'm gonna cross dimensions. Hello. Oh, I almost made it all the way Hold down. On. Let me bring my polar bear. Oh, you're bringing a polar bear. All right then. Yes, because this guy is gonna live at spawn. Oh my god, yeah, that's a lot of, uh... Smooth basalt? Where did that come from? Ooh, that means there's a, um, what is it called? A diode. No, I mean, there, it was in the net, in the end. Oh, that's unusual. Should I bring the polar bear to spawn, or should he live in alpine place? Um... I don't know. What about <laughs> we, we? What if we bring one to Alpine? Can we? Can you breed polar bears? Uh no, unfortunately. Oh. This is a darn shame. I know. We could have a polar bear breeding program. Save the polar bears. We can yeah, we could have a, a rehabilitation run. program for them. I guess alpine places don't have polar bears IRL, but I feel like he belongs there. That's true. <laughs> Little buddy. All right, well, I'll go. I'll go start AFK in my tree farm. Not AFK, but just letting it run. Mm. I feel like more oak and less birch, but uh. Yeah. This map is so close. Oh, you know what we could do? We could get a, a blank version of the white map and make a map, infinite map room. Oh wait, actually wait, yes, we could do that right now. Well, once it's finished, wait. but yeah. Are you, wait. Once you do that, make... Are we trying to finish the thing right now, or? Um, I'm leading a polar bear to Alpine Village, and then I will come back. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Well, I'll bring, I'll bring another um, batch over then. I thought we were, I thought we were going to spawn, but I guess we should probably finish what we started. We uh, still yes. got a few hours. Wait, we could build a void, void room that's everywhere. Well, if we build, I mean, you can always already do a, a black void room by just putting concrete around. A black void room is not as interesting as a white void room. Um, a black vo void room with black concrete on a map where you can have lighting behind it 
is cool because you have all black, but it's also um, lit, you know? That is true. I guess we only tried in the old server ocean blue, void gray, and beige. Mm, mm hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, I got a polar bear. Where did I put him? Nice. <laughs> Where do you put him? Oh, I don't know. Um I'll just tie him to this fence post for now. I also fix my telescope a little bit. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, well, not it. It just looks really dumb. Right oh. Now. Oh, you're just fixing lie. it right now. I'm gonna try a little change. Oh, can I hate my floor and everything I built here? No, I don't hate it. It's good. It just could use a little, little bit of, of uh, testing. <clears throat> I don't want everything to look like 2012 Minecraft. <laughs> Who's to say it can't be? No. I am a mature person now. <laughs> just getting With flashbacks to 2012 Minecraft. <laughs> With artistic sensibilities. I am a person of refinement. I will not resort to such old and out of good, outdated measures. Such antiquated forms of, forms oh, of okay. expression. Forms of expression. This is a good song. I'm vibing to it. You know what's sad? <laughs> it's no seven in my stream left. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Am I not entertaining enough for you? <laughs> no, it's, it's been it's been an hour. I had I had a good streak, and also I think a lot of people watch these videos post post not posthumously. Um, afterwards they watch them, which you know still pretty good. Not yeah. Um, watch it posthumously. Posthumously. <laughs> they don't watch it posthumously, they, but they do watch it post video. E. 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 Is this my silk? Okay. I've broken my chest, my uh, ender chest without silk too many times. Alright, there's still like, uh, at least another chest and a bit more worth of concrete powder in the end, so if you could grab that, that'd be awesome. Um, let me try Whenever my telescope idea. <laughs> Not to abandon you for the moment. I've I've been abandoned by my chat, and now I've been abandoned by you. No, it's un most unfortunate. It's gonna be worth it when this telescope looks awesome. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll just move all of the um. I'll move all the concrete powder into here. <coughs> Excuse Ooh. me. Good luck. Sumima Sen. I mean, I should watch some anime. I haven't watched any anime in a while. And by a while, I mean like a, a week or two. Like a, a week, maybe. Uh, one. One I week, perhaps. Perchance. Oh yeah, I remember. 
What's up? I remembered I looked back at Green's telescope and he had like a railing around the edge. I remembered. Oh, interesting. Like, oh, gosh. Of the one of the floors. Did you have an uninvited guest in your in your house? In my house, an uninvited what? Uh know. oh. What 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 appeared on one of your? You said something on one of your floors or something. Mm hmm. Something like you said something about something on your floor, like on the second floor. Oh. Um, on the ground floor, I just kind of I don't know. The design was kind of terrible, and it's still kind of terrible. I like the blue color. But why? I don't know. Man. Hmm. Man. The other thing I was gonna do is just replace all of it with quartz. Not quartz. Uh, calcite, and be done with it. But like. The telescope. The ground floor. Oh, oh, that you're patting on the ground floor, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Where- what? I am not loading things incorrectly or something. Oh, there it is. I was looking at the wrong, uh, box. My brain wasn't loading incorrectly where I was putting things. Because I did or something or something. A girlfriend, a girlfriend, it's easy just to pretend. Something. Do you listen to Claro, Lucy? I cannot say that I do. What kind of songs do they that sing? <clears throat> just like sad and gay and <laughs> yeah. Sad and gay, it sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> Take that as you will. <laughs> Do you have- have you been listening to them lately? Stuck in your head? I- I very much have. Well, how could I not be? Um, even my bow- <gasps> Creeper! Creeper! Oh man. Uh, Flamin' Hot Cheetos is a Claire House song. Oh, really? And so that is also the name of my bow here. Cool. In fact. Hey! All right, all of this, all of the concrete powder is here, and I do not think we will need this much. Actually, I put down more than I realized at, 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 uh, um, before I went and duped more, so that's probably where all the extra came from. Oh yeah, so yeah, my housemates and I went out walking in the giant thick snow today, um, and it was like really cold and really blustery, but it was really cool, cause um, you know it was just like unplowed mostly um like feet of snow a couple feet of snow and it was so so dense that i actually fell over a few times <laughs> trying to walk <laughs> um and we got some cool pictures and stuff of just it's just vibing um it was really fun but then it got cold and then we all went back inside so um might get yeah, some hot cocoa but I, oh, I was gonna do that but then i didn't so it's a little bit late for that now but uh, that was was my plan before I forgot about it. Um, yeah, that was that was cool. Uh, what else did I, did I was I gonna say? Um, I had another story before this. I just don't remember what it was. It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me eventually. Uh. Ooh, what if I... It's interesting. What if I, like, put a block here? And just, like... Oh. Doesn't work. I thought I could put, like, a block and then glitch place so that the, all the sand would just fall along in along one straight line. I don't think so, though. I don't think Goodness. 
It's it's like the server lags too much for it to happen. Yeah, it just like lag back. No, something that would work. Oh, what else have I been doing? I haven't. I think. Uh, what was I? I d <laughs> I do not remember what I was going to say, which is unfortunate. Don't you remember? I have an ice cream sandwich. I just remembered. <laughs> Random, but I, I I just thinking about what I have to eat. Cause I'm a little hungry. Hungry. I'm a little hungry. <laughs> If you wanna, before you come back, make another map, and then we can use that to get the white copy. Ooh. I mean, do you have another map with you? Mm, I do not. I only we have the one. We also need something that locked. Uh, doesn't, doesn't the uh, cartographer table have an option? Oh, glass. Glass. You lock it with glass. Oh, we played Among Us today, well, uh, excuse me. We played Among Us today at Tabletop. That was fun. I won. I won a game as an imposter, as a solo imposter. <laughs> which is really unordinary for me. But I did it by, um, as Julia put it, marinating her to think that I was not the imposter. Um, some people were a little bit, a little bit a little upset because I, I, what I call hot mic apparently, which is where you're like, Oh no, I left my mic on. I just said something that wouldn't implicate me. But I was like, um, it was like for the new update. So they had all these like achievements and stuff. And I was like discovering which things. And uh, one one round, um, I swiped key card like I usually do. And I usually get it first try. And it gave me an achievement for it. And I was like about to say something. And then I was like, you know what? I shouldn't say anything because that will tell them I'm innocent. And then the next round, I was an imposter, and we were still hot miking because, you know, someone she didn't want to, or they didn't want to change their um, mic to be on and off all the time, so they just were like uh, leaving their mic on. I was like, I'll do that too. I, I don't mind having a hot mic, you know, having just being able to chat with people. And I was like, ooh, you know what? I'm at admin table. This would be a perfect time to express the surprise that I felt last round. So I was like, oh, wait, there's an achievement for getting it first time. And then I was like, Oh shit! Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Um. Uh. And and that just that won me the game because it was such a weird thing to know. You know, it's like how could that possibly be an accident? You know, like that's something you can't fake knowing and being surprised at. So I did that, and then um, at the very end, it was like four of us left. It was me, Julia, and V all together, um, and Tate who was off somewhere else. Um, so I was staying with Julia and V, and like, how am I gonna kill one of them without them knowing? Um, and so I was like, we were just clustered going down to fix lights and stuff. And then Tate walks up, and I'm like, ooh, I'll kill one of them and pretend that Tate did it. And I killed, and it wasn't, I killed Tate by accident. I didn't kill Vanessa or Julia, I, you know. And, but Julia had already believed me from before, and so she's like, well, me and, 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 and Lucy were together last round, because we were, like, together for quite a while last time, and didn't know about Vanessa. And she's like, and she's like, well, we were together last time, so it's gotta be Lucy, right? Unless you're, like, marinating me or something, but it's gotta be you, right? And I, I, I guess so, like, that's, that's a little sus. So then I got her to, to vote Vanessa, who was, like, shrieking, like, or V, sorry, who was like, no, it's not me, it's not me, it's like, they're, you know, she's, she's lying to you, or, um, doesn't matter, Julie already voted, even, she started having doubts, but she, she voted, and like, oh, that sucks, we, we, maybe we got, you know, like, ha, but only for you, I won. <laughs> so that's how I got an Among Us victory today, and it felt really good. Like, oh. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I heard. I just... I actually got an achievement for it as well because it was it was like win an Among Us game as imposter via voting, and it was like the smooth talker achievement. And like that's accurate right now. True. That's how I feel. I did that. 
minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, hey, hey. <laughs> Baby, I don't know you so well. Oh, also, Andy, there's a new Expressos. It's Expresso, the owner retired, so they closed it. I and now there's another place called, um, P it's like Pini's, P Pini's Pizza, but it looks like, you know, Pini's Pizza. <laughs> so, <laughs> first, the first day I was, I was like, take, I was walking back and I saw the sign like, oh, a new pizza place. Heh, <laughs> Pini's Pizza. <laughs> so I took a video and sent it to my friends. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I walked in there, it looks really clean. But I guess that's better than the alternative. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking Espresso's probably hasn't cleaned their floors in the, in the last 50 years that they've been there, so, you know. <laughs> also, I think I'll be done with this by the time we get back. We have, like, so much more concrete that we I didn't think, you know, I guess I'd already placed it or something. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes. Um, I have gotten a little bit caught up in this. Yes, I can tell. That's okay, though. You helped quite a lot. It made everything go really fast. Thank you. Whoops. I'm leaving sand holes everywhere. Oh. Baby, I would never lie to you. Lie. You know what I'd also never do? I'd never give you what? up. Never gonna <laughs> let you down. Gonna turn around. Hurt you. It is <laughs> is 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 that song like? Still copyrighted? Cause I feel like at this point it should be like, <laughs> you know, public consumption. Public domain. Public domain, cause it's been used uh, so much. It's like it, it is a piece of cultural history. I agree, but well, that's a good Rick question. Astley doesn't need any more money, right? Surely. Surely. Are you not allowed to even? Sing a little bit of a copyrighted song. On a I have no idea. I I, I I honestly don't know. I mean, it's not going to get you like Twitch banned, you know, because you're not. It's just copyrighted, which means you just can't make money off of it. I'm not even making money off of it, so like, oh, I should I care? But like, if I don't know, I, I, a girl has has dreams, you know, and if I ever get big enough to make money off of this sort of thing, I don't want my old videos to be unmonetizable. Let them. I always, I always say I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go read the actual Twitch terms of service, so I know what I need to not break, and I never do. I just, I just don't. Just don't. Oh shit! I'm not done. There's actually more. Oop. Oh no! I'm out of, and I need one more. You're out of what? I am out of tinted glass, and I deleted accidentally the one. Last. Uh, no. I do. <laughs> oh look, some of it just lagged. It my lagged into my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, oh. all all of your diamonds are lagging into my inventory. <laughs> oh green, oh green. Um. <laughs> I have a lie to you, lie to you. But my heart in I was watching a YouTube video the other day where someone was doing like a video f with people on Omegle, and some dude on Omegle thought it would be funny to start singing. And the guy who made the video was like, I'm not even gonna cut that out because it's so bad that they can't recognize the song that and demonetize me for it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah. that's just amusing to me.
Okay, where was I? Um, metal tube. Tube. That's totally tubular, dude. Tubular. That's off the chain hook. Where is that from? I feel uh, like Bo I've Burnham. Oh, wait. Is yeah. it the end scene where he's ah. like, Bo, I haven't seen you in so long. Wow, you look fatter. Um, anyway, we're gonna have a party. It's gonna be off the chain hook, something like that. But that was that was that was the whole dialogue. <laughs> Mr. Burnham. Bo, oh my god. I just say Bo Bo, oh my god. Bo my god. Bo oh my god. Bo oh my god. Right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Jeffrey. You what? Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Zuckerberg and Gates and Buffett. <laughs> Just can fucking suck it. Fuck their wives, drink their blood. Come on, Jeff. Get them. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, I only know the, like, that one little line. <laughs> 